Hey everyone, it's Craft Nation here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the corkscrew. And this happens to be one of my favorite stitches to do with Boondoggle. Um, just because once you learn how to do this, there's so many things that you can do. Um, there's so many variations. You can just, like, have a lot of fun with this, and I just think it's so pretty. Um, like, this is one of my favorites. And this is just what the corkscrew looks like. It's a 3 by one stitch. Um, this is another example. And I was talking about variations. Um, you can, like, once you've learned how to do this, you can do, like, corkscrew, and then you can turn it around with a brick stitch. And you should know how to do that stitch before you do this. And a brick stitch looks like... Um, or the wall, I'm sorry. It's... This is the wall. It's just a 3 by one and this is the straight version. And I'm going to link a video on how to do that down below because you should definitely know how to do that before you attempt this project. Um, so once you've learned how to do this, you can do so many things like turnarounds. Um, this is called the wave stitch. It's another thing you can do. It's just another example of that. And you can do things like the DNA stitch, which I think is so cool. Looks really nice. Um, you can just have a lot of fun with this. So, you're going to need to know how to start the brick stitch. Um, sorry, how to start the wall stitch. It's, it's the same thing, honestly. Um, it's just with three strands. So, you're going to need three strands that are all the same length. And you're going to need one strand that is longer. Now, if you're working on, like, what you want your placement to be, um, whatever strands you put on the outside, they're going to be on the outside. And the string that you put in the middle is going to be the one that they twist around on. Um, and yeah, so let's just start that. So you start with the middle of the strand, and you put it on your finger. I'm just going to do this quickly because you should already know how to do this. Um, and I want the purple to be in the middle of my corkscrew. So I'm putting it there. And then this very pretty mint color. And I'm going to be using my favorite sparkly gold um, for the outside. Now, to find the center, if you don't already know, which you should, definitely should know, you just meet the ends together and you find the center. So you just get the strand under all of them. And you're just going to start doing this under, over, under, over. Just like you would do in like starting the brick or the wall or any project. Under, over, under, over. And then you take the other strand, go on the opposite side. Over, under. And that's how you start that. So what you do next is you carefully take it off. And what you do is you pull the sides just so you can start to form your base of the project. So pull the sides and pull the tails. And this kind of, don't pull it too much because you don't want it to be like curved. You want it to be nice and flat. So this is what it should look like when you start. Now, as you know, since you already should know how to do the brick, you go straight across with your strands. But when you do this, uh, the twist, you go to the side, like that. So just like a close-up. So you have your strands, and you go to the side. So you just do that with all of them. To the side, to the side. And then you take this one, go across. Make your loops big. Make sure you get in between every single one. Take your leftover tail strand, 
through the loops. And there you go. Just pull it tight. Now, like, you just want to keep going. You don't want to, like, just, you want to make it as long as you can with the strands, or as long as you want it. Um, just make sure you're going the same way, because if you um, accidentally start doing the wall stitch or the straight across, it won't twist anymore, obviously. Um, it's kind of hard, it, like, if you're just not thinking about it and you're just going. So just really pay attention and make sure you're doing everything right making sure you're not twisting anything um, and just so it comes out the best that you can and make sure you pull this nice and tight so it looks nice and pretty when you're all done and you can tell it's already starting to twist a little bit and I've only done two stitches from the base So now I'm just going to flip the camera and I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a better view so you can really see what's going on and I'm going to go over it a little bit slower in case you got lost. So this is just like kind of a better view for you guys. Um, I'm going to go more into detail and I'm not going to go as fast on this one just to make sure you guys really understand. So um, here, I'm going to hold it this way. So what you're going to do is these three strands... So, I usually put my finger in the middle just because it's a lot easier for me. But, um, you take it and you put it to the side. So, you keep doing that. And then you take this side. You go across. And you take these. And you go in between all of them. So make sure like this one. Make sure like the pink one goes in between those. Make sure the green one's on the end. Now you're going to take your other tail strand. And you're just going to feed it through the loops. So now you should look like this. Everything's all laced up. I'm just going to pull it a little bit. So, everything is, this is how it should look when it's done correctly. Everything's in place. I'm just going to pull that tight. Okay, I'm going to do one more just to show you guys, and then that's it. You're on your own. So, once you get good at this, like I am... I take all three and I do it, but I place them individually. And I have my finger in the middle, just make sure those loops are nice and even. Take the side, go across, and then you take the tail strand, I mean the side strands, and you go in between, making sure everything's in the right place. Take your tail, go through the loops. And you pull tight. And once you keep doing this, you're going to have a nice looking corkscrew so far. Um, and yeah, you can keep going for as long as you want. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you all. And have fun. Bye guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe.